We must learn to be extremely careful with our attention. Attention is like pressure. So the more attention you give something, it's the more pressure you're putting onto it. You can also liken attention to a flame. The more attention you give, the more of fire you're giving to something. So let's say you're cooking something. If you put it directly in the fire, it's going to burn. But if you keep it on a low flame and on a thick iron tawa, it's going to fry evenly. In the same way, we have to be very careful with our attention. If we put too much pressure on somebody, let's say we're shaking hands with somebody, a certain amount of pressure shows how much, how much we like them. If you start squeezing too much, it shows that we have some kind of enmity with them. It doesn't feel good. Okay? So in a similar way, we give too much attention to our children, our spouse, our job, anything that's feeling like it's choking you in your life. You've given it too much attention and that's why it's choking you. So you need to give your attention subtly, gently and sideways. So let's learn the two ways of attention. One is direct attention, where you focus. Another attention where you defocus and you see from your peripheral vision. In a similar way, don't be aware of things directly. The more directly you look at it, it's when you want to transform it, burn it, change it, whatever. If you give something too much attention, like you give your weight too much attention, I'm too fat, I'm too fat, I need to lose weight, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. When you start giving it too much attention like that, it becomes a burden and it becomes very heavy. But if you become aware of it peripherally saying, yeah, this is my day, this is all the food that I have to see. This is a kind of defocused attention that you need uh, in order to have a sweet experience in life. This is why I'm against mindfulness practices because they're putting all their attention on things. When you put all your attention on something, it ruins. So you put your sideways attention on things and then they'll start to be very beautiful. You, you don't have to give it your whole attention, okay? Somebody is doing something that is horrible for you. If you give it your full attention, that will consume you. You will not have creativity to deal with the situation. You will only have your logical brain to deal with the situation. But we need a creative brain to deal with the situation. You can't be stressed. So that's the reason. Don't give everything your, your direct attention. Look, I'm not giving you my direct attention right now. Now I am giving you my direct attention. This feels more intense. This uh, feels disruptive. This feels like there's pressure on you. But if I don't give you my full attention now, I'm still attentive of you as an audience. It's how much is required. It's a loving attention. Okay. So when you give your loving attention, you're like a mother who's attentive of a child who's playing. She's just listening for some sounds where he gets hurt or something. Otherwise, she's not going to pay too much attention to it. And even if he gets hurt, she gets right there and starts repairing whatever happened and tells him, it's okay, no big deal. Do it again. You know? So that's the kind of encouraging attention that you need to give to yourself and your life. If you understood what I said, turn sideways from everything that you're looking directly at and give it your peripheral attention and watch your life transform. So what are you going to give your loving and encouraging attention to today? Write it in the comments. Let me know.